Hey friends, Kate. So I have another DIY for you today. It is all about saving those jeans that you thought were lost. So, these jeans right here, these are my very favorite jeans I've ever owned, ever, 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 ever. Love these jeans. They're my very most favorite. And so this is what happened though, not too long ago. I put a hole in my jeans, guys. So I went to Nordstrom to try to find some new ones and all the jeans I saw there had a whole bunch of holes in them And so I'm thinking to myself. Why am I paying for new jeans with holes in them? Just because I don't want my jeans. I have with holes in them I'm gonna teach you guys how to distress your jeans. So ones like this that have a little hole in them You can make that hole belong and you don't have to buy brand new jeans just for the distressed look So here we go. So what you're going to need is a razor um, a super sharp knife or a razor blade and an old magazine that you don't care if you ruin and then your jeans you want to resurrect because let's be honest amber is ridiculously cheap and if we can do it ourselves we do it ourselves right so you want to put your magazine in the pant leg that you're wanting to distress and you can mark where you're going to distress them, but with me, I mean, obviously, I know where the distress needs to be. So I'm just gonna distress right around that. So here's my knife. So I'm just gonna cut these little holes like this. All sorts of different little holes I'm putting in them right here. I'm going to do a little distressing up by the pocket. So if you don't want a hole in your pocket, move your pocket up so there's nothing underneath this spot right here. Make sure your magazine is up too so you don't cut holes through the back of your stuff. Let's do the other side. distress the pockets a little bit and kind of along the waistline. So in order to do that, we need your razor. And I think I'm actually gonna do some on the pockets. Okay, you guys, now we're gonna throw them in the wash. So we distressed them a little bit. Now it's time to see what they look like when we're done. It's important to make sure you wash them twice in order to really get the threads to come loose. Some of this I want to pull out a little bit more. So I just got my tweezers here and I'm just pulling out the cross threads. vlogs um, and, and the live. So over the next month or so, it's gonna be a little bit crazy with all the family stuff we have going on. So some of the live videos are going to be actual vlogs too. If you guys have any other DIY stuff you wanna see, let me know. Have a good one. Bye.